Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Vegetorials. Vegetorials, y'all know, y'all know how we do it. You know how we do it. And so we're on onions, right? You see, we got a red onion, we got yellow onion, and we got white onion, guys. So real quick, um, just from way back, I've always heard running... Run, run, run. <laughs> onions have a lot of medicinal benefits, like like a lot of uh, healthy uh, aspects uh, as it relates to onions, guys. And so we're going to learn a few and just some additional information, too, that you probably didn't know. Like, I learned some stuff, too, right? So let me just uh, run through this real quick. Onions, like onions provides benefits to the heart, right? It's God's food, okay? So we know already uh, God's food um, is an anti-allergen, so it's great for respiratory issues, right? People that got any type of respiratory issues, onions, right? So I've I've heard of people like um, boiling onions and like smelling, like, you know, just inhaling the, uh, uh, I guess the vapors, you know. Um, I've heard of people putting onions like in their sock, like cut up or a raw onion, put it underneath your foot and put a sock on sleeping in it. I've heard of things like that, like all these things to, you know, help with respiratory issues or get rid of a cold or some type of infection, right? So I've heard of these things with onions. Um, onions can help you uh, help uh, good vision, right? Onions. Um, uh, builds your immune system, right? Onions are good for that too. Help build your immune system. So onions um, regulates blood pressure. Come on, God's food. We're talking about God's food now. Okay, onions. Um, listen, bestows healthy hair, guys. Now that's new. I did. I never heard of that. Onions. It said helps uh, uh, helps you to have healthy hair. Uh, helps maintain strong bones. I can see that. It's God's food. I can see that. And so here are a few other things that you probably didn't know. Onions are good with burning belly fat. Right, it's a great source. It's a great source of soluble fiber. Um, a great pre prebiotic food. Remember, probiotics help replaces the good bacteria in the colon. Prebiotic, okay. Uh, so the probiotic feeds on the prebiotic, so so the probiotic can stay longer. Right. So uh, onions, a great, uh, powerful prebiotic food. So it's great that which is crucial, right? It's crucial for uh, weight loss and healthy gut. So onions, 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 right? So you can bake them. You can squeeze the juice out of them. You can soup them. You can eat them raw. Number of ways you can eat onions, guys, but it's great uh, for reducing belly fat. I want to share a few other things with you about onions that you probably didn't know. So it says, are onions best eaten raw or cooked? Y'all know I'm a fan of like sauteing onions, right? But just so you know, it says organic sulfur compounds help reduce the level of cholesterol in your body and may also help break down blood clots, lowering your risk for heart disease and stroke. So should we eat them raw or cooked? It says you're going to get the most sulfur compounds from eating them raw. Doesn't mean it's unhealthy to eat them cooked. You're just going to get the most from eating them raw, right? So um, just keep that in mind. Nothing trumps raw. I say it all the time. Like nothing trumps raw, right? And so when you talk about which one should you eat, like when, like what, when should I do the yellow, the red, the, the, the white? What well, it says for as far as the yellow onion, it says yellow is ideal variety for caramelizing. So when you get the saute and stuff, right? Yellow, 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 yellow. So sauteing onions, right, to build flavor as a base for uh, for your dish, whether it's a soup, tomato sauce, um, whatever whatever it is, onions are probably ideal. Like I, like this is what I buy all the time. I buy yellow onions all the time because I'm always sauteing onions. Like that's part of my favorite thing to do, sauteing onions, right? I'm saying, what about what about white onions, Rochelle? When should I use white onions? It says this is a totally acceptable substitute for yellow onions, right? Especially if you're cooking them. It says white onions are milder and crisper than yellow onions, uh, which is my, which is why you might want to use them thinly sliced in a salad, chopped in pico de gallo, or in raw preparations. Now I'll tell you uh, when I make my carrot dog, my carrot, you know, my veggie dog, onions like any hot dog. But you know, come on now, you know you put raw onions on white onions on a hot dog, right? So or a chili dog, hot dog. When I do my my carrot dog, have y'all seen me do that? You gotta check that out, right? White onions, white onions. It says the biggest drawback uh, to the white onion, though, is, is that it doesn't last long in storage, right? But again, white onions, hot dog, okay? <laughs> but it's good in uh, pico de gallo or any in a salad, any type of raw preparation, white onions, white onions. You can. It's, it's a great substitute for the yellow onions, so you can't go wrong with either one. But let's talk about the, the red onion. Some people call it red, some people call it purple. Um, it says red onions are particularly good raw in many of the same places as their white cousins, okay? Uh, red onions work well in salads, guacamole, or on a juicy burger. Come on, juicy burger. A good slice of red onion on your juicy burger. Come on, I love it. Um, in part because it's vivid color, right? So I definitely prefer red onions in my salads. Uh, it just gives it additional flavor, right? Now, you can put any, any type of onion in the salad, but I don't know. I don't know if it looks good. 
it, it, it's colorful or whatever, but I like the taste too. I like the taste of the red onion, guys. So you can't go wrong with the red onion. And so again, um, just a recap of the onions, uh, provides benefits to the heart. It's an anti-allergen, so it's great for respiratory issues. Uh, can help with your vision, right? Uh, helps for, for the immune system, um, improves the heart health, regulates blood pressure, we talked about that. Healthy hair, and helps uh, maintain strong bones. And so, so many health benefits to onions that uh, I pretty much use onions almost every day in something, you, you know what I mean? Like, they're healthy and they taste great, okay? You might need a mint or two though, after you eat them. <laughs> Especially if you're eating them raw, but that's a small price to pay for good health, okay? That's a small price to pay for, 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 for heart health, for, for eye health, for, for hair health. Like, that's a small price to pay to be healthy, guys. So I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about breath. Pop a mint, just make sure it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners in it, okay? That's all I got, guys. Hey, I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Guess what? Whether you like it or not, mm -mm -mm, I don't care, okay? I can, I will, and I must continue to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. I'm out. Peace. Hey, hey guys, before you go, I just want to let you know I am hosting a seven-day fruit and vegetable challenge on the first of the month. Guys, I do it every month. I've done it for the last two years. You say, well, why do I need that? Let me tell you what can happen in seven days. In just seven days, you can rid your body of the addiction to sugar, the addiction to salt. You can get rid of inflammation in the body. Guys, you can get mental clarity. You can sleep better. So many great things can happen in just seven days. So don't delay any longer. Go ahead and click the link below and go ahead and sign up. We're getting started on the first, okay? I'll see you on the first. Let's go.